back to Wing Chun Tips. This is going to be Chun Q analysis part three of three. All right, so after the section one, section two of the Chun Q, we're here. Now this time, we're going to turn left again, but instead of our large Sao turn, we're going to have our arms chambered and we're just going to turn our hips and then do a lift kick, which is like this. Basically, your front foot is just lifting up to, to stop an attacker in the shin or the knee, depending on what's there. Boom. So we're doing that. And then double bong sows, tan sows, double bong sows, tan sows, double bong sows, tan sows, hewn, roll, stomp, palm strike, tans, roll, back, grab. Now I go to the right side, step back, pivot, lift kick again, double bongs, tans, double bongs, tans, double bongs, tans, hewn, lift, stomp. Push, double palm strike, tan, roll, grab. Then we turn, we turn and do a straight kick. Boom, it's like a butte. Not So we don't want to do like an arc kick. We just turn our hips, boom, straight kick. And now gum sounds. One, two, three, punches. See our hand is here? One, two, three, four. Tan, hewn, roll, grab, back. You notice you end up with your feet straight most of the time. <laughs> yep, and then that's the end of the form. Okay, now for analysis of those parts, and when we do that first turn, see we're working on getting our hips all turning in sequence wherever our body is. So we turn back. Now that lift kick is just a lift, like I said, to stop somebody who's running at you, somebody's coming, whatever your lead leg is, stop the knee or the shin to, to have somebody's motion arrested, or just to hold them in place, keep distance. All right, so lift kick. Now double bong sows, and you notice how they're in sequence with your, your kick as, as, your, as your back foot touches, your bong sows are out. Now your bong sow, it's like we said, the unscrewing the light bulb. The high bong sow says so the low bong sow. You want the force going forward as it unwinds a little bit. So forward, and then double tons forward, even with a little pop. Pop a little snap, snap, snap. Two, two, three, three. So you're, you're kind of still moving all in sequence. Okay, so then after the third one, then, like I said, you're bringing your back foot up, hewns, sinking, sinking a little bit, and then exploding with double palm strikes. Time, roll, hewn, grab, back. Just like our favorite flop sound, flop down. And then we step back and pivot. The same thing, so lift kick. So whatever front, foot's in front, lift kick, Bongs going forward, tons going forward. Bongs going forward, tons going forward. Bongs go forward, tons. Hewn, sink, strike. Tons, roll, hewn, grab. Boom. Works on laps out. Turn. So we're here, turn, straight kick, boom. So we're gonna have a little bit of an angled stance. And now you're doing turning gum sounds. Gum sound, low blocks, gum sound. Thumbs up. Then your hand is here for punches. Remember we talked about the bridge punch, wherever your hand is. Punch, 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 boom. Tan. Each of those were turning punches. Did you see that? Turn, 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 turn. It gives you power and it gives you range. Um, the gum sows are a low block. You're using a dummy, several sections of that. Um, just kind of like a low block for a strike that's low. You know, and with turn, usually, if something's coming at you, you could pop down, but you probably would go like a little bit of a pivot. Pivot, pivot. You know, or uh, pivot, bam, bam, like try to get out of the way um, for a low block. Or sometimes you could even use your arm as a block, Lawrence out. Um, yeah, and then at the end we do those turning strikes back to center. Yeah, that's kind of the, the sum of the section three of the chunk Q. Um, yeah, working on still, as with the other sections, combining movement with stability and structure. And we're moving, and we're, a lot of parts of your body Moving things in sequence, moving things in sequence, right? Turning, 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 even drills. You can practice this to read drills. Start in the middle, turn, 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 you know? Turn, 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 bam. You know, different things like that. Bong sauce, tan sauce, and turn, bong sauce, tan sauce. You know, stuff like that. And uh, like I mentioned at the beginning, being barefoot or in flat shoes, like wrestling shoes, can really help you feel the ground rooting. When you're barefoot though, they, they sometimes stick to the floor like mine are doing, so some of your turning is a little difficult. But you will still notice as I turn, 
I turn on my heels and, the, and my feet go around it. So for these drills, work on things with quality first, like I said, precision and quality. And then as we get better and better at it, you'll feel more fluid and loose and you can move with more explosiveness and uh, random movement, but still have good structure and quality. Then you can even strike faster and more powerfully. All right, well, thanks for watching. Hope you got some uh, good insights out of this. Uh, feel free to leave any questions in the comments below. And have a great day.